So, what are you going to do once you get back to Euda? I still don't know why I asked that. Honestly, back then it didn't matter to me. I guess walking together in silence got boring fast. And even more when you stopped every two steps to look at plants and bugs and scribble some notes. But I understand. To someone who has always lived trapped in a temple, seeing so much life and diversity... It must have been fascinating. First things first, I will pay you for being such a good bodyguard. Works for me. Our journey may take a couple of years. Will you be satisfied with that? If pay is as good as you say, I don't mind waiting. Don't have anything better to do anyway. What does the everyday life of a brigand look like? You turned your head to me with honest curiosity. Gently and innocently. I just felt like one of those bugs you observed with such care. Nobody had ever been interested in anything about my life. I didn't know what to reply. Well, you know, bandit stuff. Looting, stealing, and that sort of thing. And... killing? You looked away. You sure had that question in mind for a long time. Maybe you feared the answer. No way! At least not for now. Oh. Was that disappointing? What were you expecting? I'm more about beating people to a pulp and running away. But some of the guys from my old gang? They could tell you all about it. Your gang? Were you the leader? Seriously? Who the hell do you think I am? Not at all. Just a third-rate scrounger. I know how to sneak and escape, and that seems to be useful for a bandit. Escapism did not seem like your strong point that day. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I should not be kidding about that. As to what I would do once our journey comes to an end, I assume I will return to my usual tasks. So, waiting for Daddy to die so you can take control of the temple? You say that as though I hate my father, but nothing could be further from the truth. My life will be just as it was before, until Father dies and I inherit the role of High Priestess. It is my duty. That's boring. Let us talk about you now. What are you going to do? Sell whatever you give me as payment and go as far as I can. I'll buy farmland somewhere. You know, grow some crops, raise some cattle, that sort of thing. No one to bother me, and me bothering no one. That is a nice dream. That'd be a peaceful end for a bandit. Much more than I deserve after the life I've led. I may not know much about your life, but I think you deserve that much. You went back to your plants with a smile on your face. That warm smile again. It'd been forever since anyone treated me like you did. Like I was a person. Like an equal. I've been living like a rat since I was nine years old. Stealing to be able to live one more day. 
attacking innocent people. I had forgotten what it was like to be glanced at without contempt or fear. Can I ask you something? Why would you trust me? I'm a bandit. I could bail out on you at any moment. I could even steal your crap or sell you out to some skeevy bastard. I'm sure I could get good money for someone like you. I know you would not do something like that. I can see it in your eyes. You're reckless. I'm not a good person. 